Hey y'all, it's Dr. Tiffany. I hope you're doing well. Well, this one is is medical news, but it could have come straight from the, uh, you know, what would evil do, choose your own adventure books, if you remember those from the 80s and 90s. So, uh, the HCA healthcare chain, um, which um, owns 182 hospitals uh, around the country, um, has I have allegations which uh, were first broken by NBC uh, where they got word from 26 doctors and six nurses uh, from, from there who uh, all spoke to them from that work for HCA hospitals, alleging that uh, they have been pushing patients towards end-of-life care to boost performance metrics. Let that sink in a little bit. That means that they have been getting patients to go on hospice to make their freaking stats look pretty. That is disgusting. And honestly, on the scale of evil, that's got to be up there. They weren't like, uh, you know, they're not, by the way, hospice doesn't mean like they were like euthanizing people, but it still means that they were uh, basically going to palliative care. And that does influence what physicians do. And they were pressuring physicians by all accounts. This, again, this has been a, a slowly burning fire that uh, honestly just caught my attention um, in earnest yesterday. But it is truly disgusting and alarming. And um, I believe that you all should know about this. This is what the corporatization of our hospitals did. Okay, when you have something that owns 182 hospitals. By the way, just so you know, a hospital usually employs somewhere between, you know, depending on size, between 50 and, um, you know, 1,000 people. Do the math there. You begin to get into the size of bureaucracy that rivals government entities. And you lose your humanity. And you do morally repugnant stuff like this. Just thought you ought to know. Love you. Stay safe.